Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We're back again on Sky Factory 4. And this is episode 23. Today, we are going to probably get into applied energistics. So I'm going to go over here. If you recall, we have done a lot of stuff over on this tab here, but we were trying to do the heart last time. And we had a lot of trouble with my storage system over here. Things are duplicating. Drawers aren't showing up in the system when they're there. It just doesn't work right. So I think we're going to try to go through on the age of storage here and work on this section, which is uh, applied energistics. This is a storage system that we use a lot in modded. So it's fairly familiar. Now, one thing I noticed right here, it says uh, this is a, a power piece that converts power that from the, our system to the system AE uses. And it says obtain it. You do not need a controller for your system. There are no channels. Now, this was like a limiting factor in the, the way the original mod of Apply Energy Access works, and it has been reconfigured for this pack to not need a controller, which is excellent. Okay, so we're going to get started on that right here. Here we go. Uh, let's see, find it. Energy Acceptor. Let's see what it takes. Okay, so the Energy Acceptor takes iron, and we got iron. Takes a uh, Fluix Crystal. Now, I think a Fluix Crystal is pretty easy to get. Um, you can see it has some things in here. A furnace with an alloy furnace or a fluid infuser, or a metallurgic infuser. It takes redstone and it takes crystallized mineral trunks. Okay, and we have that, I think all of that. So let's see, we got some redstone. Um, why was there so much? Oh, that's the other type of red, that's soot cover. We don't want that. So we got six pieces here. Um, let's get um, some more. Oops, not that much, that works. Okay, got a stack of that and let's get the mineral trunks. There's a stack. And so we should be able to put this into the metallurgic infuser we have over here. Take that out. And we got some stuff here. Carbon. Now, is it, is, do I, is this dumped? Does that dump the stuff out? I don't know. Let me just break it and see if it retains. It did. We should be able to do that, but I gotta get rid of the carbon. Let's see. I'm not sure how to do this. Does this work? Okay, that worked. It did get rid of it, okay. Is it not moving? It says empty. It just took all that redstone. Are you kidding me? Oh boy. So how do you do this? Let's go look at, we're looking for the, um, oh my gosh, the uh, flukes crystal. Okay. And it says it takes up uh, blocks. Oh, it takes blocks. Okay. Not sure why it didn't work there, but, uh, or where th that uh, redstone went. But we'll get some blocks here. And it should be working. Oh, the dump is on. Is that what's going on? Like, where is it going? And how do you shut this off? Ugh. I'm just wasting so many resources there. How do you turn this off? Shift. I'm not sure how this works. You see what I'm saying? It looks like dump is on. If I put anything else in there, it just dumps it out. I think it's just going, going to the uh, the bit bucket, if you will. The the uh, null area is not being used anywhere. And we're losing resources pretty quick. Why won't that work? How do you get it back? Okay, I'm pressing left click, right click, shift left click, right click, control left click, right click. Nothing worse. I don't know what's going on here. Let me uh, do some research here. I'm gonna have to Google this to find out because that it should turn off, I would think. And it hasn't done that at all. It still looks like it needs to dump, but I'm putting some blocks in here and it's filling up. Okay, so that seems to be okay. So let's go get those uh, mineral chunks. Um, those there and let's put that in. Here we go. And now you can hear it working and that's good. That means we're going to get this correctly. Um, I was a little bit worried about that, but this should give us Fluix crystals then, right? Um, I'm going to put this whole stack in there and this will just keep on producing Fluix crystals. So it should be good with this. Now we're trying to make the first of all, the first piece of this puzzle of AE is an energy acceptor. It takes one crystal, some iron and some quartz glass. Okay. So we got that. We have iron quartz glass. This is just uh, crushed quartz and glass. Okay, so we got to crush some quartz here. Let's get some quartz. Okay, I'm going to put a stack. We'll put it in the crusher. 
and this will work for a little bit and we'll get that and then we should be able to uh have what we need come on we got four of these right this takes a couple more seconds i'll be right back okay so i've got some crushed quartz now i've also been cooking up some glass so we should be able to get to the energy except for now we need this here and oh yeah we need to get this done and we need that and there it is okay this and energy acceptor that's the first part now i'm gonna put it right on top of here and it is now should be getting power from that uh maybe not actually we gotta put the use the uh hammer the crescent hammer don't want that either the uh, crescent wrench we need to make that work um first okay and yellow was output so we want blue as input yellow is output and we're outputting to the energy acceptor okay now you can see the power jumped up a little bit for how much we're using there it's using some power and that's fine um it looks like now we've made these two things we need to make obviously we're going to make these presses um and usually you have to do the silicon press at least to make the logic processor so let's go look at what that takes now i haven't even looked into this so this might be kind of hard um the silicon press takes um uh, well you we have to use an inscriber to make it i guess that piece no how do you get it wait what okay you have to put it over a cobblestone circuit mold okay we'll get you a silicon press or a printed silicon we'll get it. we're going to, have to do this a cobblestone circuit mold okay so we got to use this in an inscriber it's a chisel and that okay so we have to make the inscriber it looks like so let's do that next okay it takes um yeah all that <laughs> okay well we know we have flux crystal that's easy and we have some of that that's easy grab some of this stuff okay so we need to make some pistons here there's the pistons and um we need to make some sticky pistons there we go and there is an inscriber and we're gonna put this down here just over on this side actually i'll put it over here that way it's getting power from there now these things this inscriber it takes um um it <laughs> can't talk today words are difficult it takes enhancements or, or uh, upgrades now we can try to make maybe and this might be something to do is the is there the advanced subscriber here no advanced subscriber okay what about um they have make these upgrade cars they have the speed uh i don't see that either it's some sort it's an upgrade let's do applied these cards here uh typically we're going to go with a, a base card let's see if we can find it an acceleration card just takes a base card and the crystals we got these and these are that but takes calculation processors which we cannot make yet so we're not going to do that okay so we need to make a chisel right i have that one but i want to make a stone one because that's all we need and some cobble and if we put that in here and there we go see right there it's making what we need there is a cobblestone circuit mold okay and then if we go out here and we look at um this right here not that this it's of iron basically one block of iron it says will do pour out to this one whole block that's crazy that's a lot but we'll we'll do it need an iron block there it is and we'll throw it in here and that will cook up take that out and we're gonna put this down okay and that'll get that now we know we're gonna need a lot of silicon for the printed silicon we're trying to get to this so we can make the parts okay and it takes this what we're making now and silicon and we get this from crushed quartz it looks like is there anything with sand though? Apply energy sticks, just quartz, okay? So then we have that. Okay, so that's that's good. So like I said, we're just waiting on this to go. It's gonna be a little bit longer. So we're gonna get also the other ones. Let's look at what some of these others. Um, we need to get a, a logic press. 
what would that take? Same kind of thing, it looks like. Um, the mold over that thing. So we need to get a couple more of these molds then. Okay, so let's do... Uh, let's make three more. So then we have each of the presses. Is that... I did not know that you had to do that with this, so I'm doing that right now, obviously. Okay. And this one is just done yet? Almost. Okay. Now we have all those pieces. Okay, so we have that there. And let's finish this up. Come on, you can do it. Now for this one, we need to use molten steel. So we'll have to make steel. We have one block worth. And we're going to pour it out. You can see it's very slow coming out of here because it does take one block for this. And there we go. Okay, it's cooling down. So we need steel, huh? Okay, so we have steel ingots. Can we make a steel block out of that? Yes, we can. So let's start uh, cooking that up. And there it goes, okay. And now we've made the press. Oh, we didn't have to make all those. Oh, nice. Okay. That worked out well. So now we got one of these. We're working on the uh, logic press, I believe. Logic press is just another one of these things, but it's over molten steel, which we're getting. Okay. What about there's a calculation one? And this is molten tough alloy. I don't know what that is. What is Molten Tough Alloy? Okay, I don't know what that is. It's a mix of lithium and ferroboron. Really? Ooh, this might be tough. Salt mixer. Molten, ferroborn, and lithium. Okay, so basically we got to figure out how to get this. This is ferroborn alloy. Which is steel and boron and boron. How do we get boron? A melter of boron ore. No. This is going to take a little bit to get this one. This is the calculation. We have the um, the other one we need for these. And the calculation is we need engineering. Hopefully that one is an easier one. Uh, no, it is ferro boron. So this might be a little bit difficult for us, guys. Okay, we have our steel here. Let's get this part. At least we're getting closer to doing this. Um, a little worried that we won't be able to get this done um, as we do this, but hopefully it will. Uh, that'll have to cool. There it goes. Okay, so we will have the logic press. We need to make a logic processor. Um, and the logic processor... is a gold piece one of these and one of these and these are just you know silicon or whatever okay so let's get this out there we go okay so we want to use this one and we want to get a printed silicon so we need to get silicon and we said that was just basically crushed quartz smelted up right okay and we got some of this smelted up here let's do that right there and we're gonna put it into here and this will give us the, what we need for the silicon. Okay. So there should be some silicon right here. Right. And if we put this over here, okay, it's making that. Okay. There we go. We got one piece right there. Now this one, we need that and we need the logic. And I usually it's gold, but I want to double check just to make sure it is gold. So let's go get gold. Okay, put that together. We're also going to need a piece of redstone. Good, it's making more of that. And that's making that. And there we have this. Okay, so this goes here, here, and here. And this should make a logic processor. So at least we'll have that advancement done. Live long and processor. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Okay, so basically, it looks like we gotta have to try to make, first of all, we're trying to make the drive bay. We put disc cells into it for storage. 
and we need to get a grid that we can get into it. So let's see what it takes to make the drive bay. I think that's where we have to go. Drive bay takes iron ingots. We can get that. It takes ME glass flux cable. We can have to get that in a little bit. And engineering processors. We know that's going to take the boron stuff. So can we make that? Um, we can. Which means we can make that. And there we go. So we have that piece. So what we need to do is get engineering processors. These two we can make. Engineering thing takes an engineering um, subscriber press. And it looks like to get that. Why would you do that? That's just so bad. We're going to have to get ferro boron. Okay. That has to be. And that's basically steel. And we have steel with boron. Okay. So boron. That's how we have to figure out how to get boron. Um, all these are boron pieces, right? Probably. Boron blocks. Boron dust. Nope. Let's go look and see if there's anything out here. Is there like a, a boron sapling? I don't think so. Um. Bucket of mud boron. Nope. These are all nuclear craft, huh? I'm trying to find out where you get this. Boron, boron, boron. This one's gonna cost me some time, I think. Until I figure out how to get it. Boron dust, boron ingot, boron block. Dust. Um, if anybody knows how to do this, put down in the comments, please. Oh, wait, here we go. Fluid sieving machine, fermented, fermented ore meat. Hold on. What is fermented ore meat? A fermentation station with raw ore meat. Just ore meat. Okay, that's not going to do it. Um, I'm going to have to look around for a little bit, guys, and try to figure out how to get this. This is the next puzzle, uh, how to get Pharaoh Boron. It should be easy, but I'm just missing it, and I'll take some time to research. Give me a little bit. It looks like we need Boron, and to get Boron, we're going to have to go to Twilight Forest, I believe. So we need to use a cake, and to make a cake, we got to make a cake first, and we have to have yellow and reds. We have all of that, so we just got to make a cake. And, of course, I have most of that, except for the sugar which is pretty easy. There we go. And then I need to get three buckets of milk. So we have buckets here. I have two buckets. Let's make another one. Three buckets of milk. Now I over have over here, if you recall from an earlier episode, I do have the um, milk jug here. So I should be able to get all three. There we go. And we need to make our cake. And it would be the... Twilight Forest cake and there. Oh, no, sorry. Regular cake. And then we make the Twilight Forest cake. Okay. So, we're going to put that down right here. And I'm thinking that we should be able to go perfectly well. Do, do we need an overall cake? I don't know. Not. we'll just see what happens. So, now we're going to Twilight Forest, guys. And uh, I'm not very good with Twilight Forest. We'll see how this goes. But I think from what I've read, and there's, there's our overworld cake, which is nice. And we're like way up. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's go back. We need some blocks. Um, and we have gravel. Okay. So, <laughs> let's go back again. Okay. What I did, uh, I have some blocks so I can get across to like one of these trees and get out of this area. Cause we're right over kind of a bad spot you know what i mean so um which way's better probably let's go out this way oop don't mean to do that let's get out of this little zone now, if you notice the world is still an island and that kind of concerns me um can jump down here take a little damage I hope that's not like a big 
tough area or not. There's pumpkins in down there and things. Um. Wow, I don't know if we can dig underneath it, but hopefully we can. Let's um. Let's see. I'm making like a stairway or something. Hopefully we can get over to that. So it's a little bit of work here, guys. I'm trying to set up so that I can get down safely. I don't need that there. And then put this back here. Okay, so that should get us over to that. And now we're down to here. Hmm. There's the center of this tree right over here. I wonder if I... Uh, Let's go back and get some sticks, make some ladders that'll get us up to here. See, I'm trying to do this stuff here. I didn't know that we could be on an island. So. Okay. And this may work over in the other zone. I don't know. Um, there we go. That should be plenty, I would think. Okay, let's go back there. Okay, so it looks like the tree is right there. I'm going to basically dig down. There's a tree wood right here. Okay, I'm going to assume that this is the trunk. And I didn't bring an axe on me. Let's see if this thing works. It does not. Okay, so we cannot use that storage thing for this area. Um, but basically, if we go down here... Well, that gets us up there. Let's um, put some ladders down. Okay, so that way we can climb up and get out. Okay. Where's the rest of the tree? It's over there. Okay. So let's um, get rid of a couple blocks here. That one. That one. Let's put a little thing here. And we'll start the ladder right here. Uh, let's go down. Hopefully we won't die. Oh, ah. Okay, we're out. Um. Let's see. Can I put a block, like, right here? Yeah. Okay. This is kind of weird. I'm just trying to sort a way to get out of here easily. Uh, and back to the base. Um, or at least a way to get back to the base. Okay. And then here we'll go up the ladder here. And then you see we can get right up to the top of our base. Okay. Okay. So that kind of works. Excellent. Now let's go down here. Let's start exploring. Let's uh, see if we can get something um, from all this. I mean, I saw a lot of spawners. I'm not happy about that. Let's see what happens if we dig down here. Is there anything below here? Like, I don't know how far this goes. I'm hoping there are ores down here, but I don't know. And look at that. There's tin. So there are ores. That's good. It's good to know. We may have to go out and mine a lot of this to find boron. That's the goal here is to find some boron. So let me let me do some uh, hunting here for boron. We've got to get that pharaoh boron so that we can get the, uh, the thing we need. I don't have a lot of torches. What is that? Uranium. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep on mining here. This is kind of probably going to take quite a while to get what we need. Um, but um, hopefully I'll see it soon. When I do, I'll bring you back. I went back and picked up a hammer. This will make this mining a lot easier. That's lithium. We found some lithium, and that's good. Okay, and I've had some of uh, this, which is uranium. So we're finding ores. Haven't found any boron yet, but, you know, we're doing okay. We're going through and gathering stuff. I also found, like, that this dilithium is cool. Um, I keep thinking Star Trek. Uh, lithium. There we go. Let's 
we're getting a lot of various minerals and things like that just um you know i'm gonna start mining this out i mean if it's an island i should hit like the edge right um what is that thorium it's not but we're getting some some stuff here okay and uh that was our last torch let me mine this out so like i said i'll be back when i find what i need i haven't found any boron yet i'm hopefully hoping that it's here in this area I mean, here's some more dilithium i can vein mine that just like that so we can vein mine stuff if we see it but i haven't seen any uh of the boron yet we're, we're getting there though let me give it some time just found some boron but of course this guy is here and i've gotten some advancements from that there's a lot of things are spawning down here because i i didn't have torches you can hear them and they're coming but here is some boron what is getting me is that a bat oh it's that guy okay yeah i see ya I don't like this zone. I hate it. So much stuff is coming out of here. You know what? Okay. Die. Die. Oh, drama. <laughs> I thought he was being smart. Okay. So that's there. And now we have this boron. Let me get this out. Okay, so now we have some boron. It's right here. We have four boron. So that should help us out. Let's go back to base and see what's up. I'm back and I tried to put in the boron in here. You can see it's not working. I think we need to use an enrichment chamber. Uh, one of these, okay? And unless we already have it, I don't think we do. No, um, the enrichment chamber will take boron um, if we go into here, let's see, use for here. Um, it will basically, there we go. Um, there's a lot of these here, but basically it will take boron ore and it will make, let's see if I can find it real quick. Um, it takes boron ore and it makes the dust out of it. I'm trying to see where it is. Is that it down here? No, that's a tin or something. Well, I can just do it this way. <laughs> so the boron ore, um, the dust, I mean, basically it takes an enrichment chamber here and it makes boron dust. And with the dust, um, then we can use that in like a smelter to make boron ingots, or we can use it in an alloy furnace with steel to make ferroboron, which is what we need. Okay, so let's start to make the enrichment chamber then, okay? So... We need this. And so we need more redstone first. Let's get that. Um, need some more blocks. Okay, I got a block. Let's get rid of all this stuff that's in my inventory. There. That helps out a lot. Okay. Um, so now we're trying to make, again, the enrichment chamber. Right, and basically we need uh, a machine. This piece, we have that. Uh, we need to make things that are on top. These things, basic control circuits, which takes a redstone block and osmium. Okay, um, we got all that. So let's get a couple pieces of osmium in here. And I'm not seeing any <laughs> osmium. Did I just get rid of it? Um, I think so. Basically, we gotta get some osmium here. Um, can we do that? And does that work in here? I'll put four in there for now. Hopefully, it gives us the uh, what we need here, which is the osmium ingot. It is okay. Put in here. This machine will then give us those. Uh, what I don't know what they're called. They're the green things, the big green squares, right? Okay. And so we make that, and then we can make the enrichment chamber, in which we got to put a, put it down someplace in here. There's one. We're waiting on the second one. All right. Okay. So now, oops. Enrichment chamber. 
and there it is. Now, I'm not sure why we need the separators. I'm going to pull this out because we don't need it. And put this down. Okay, it's got power. And now we should put the ore in, right? Um, I would think so. I'll see there, it didn't duplicate. It said four up here and we have four. I don't understand. But there it goes and we should be getting the boron dust. And then once we have the dust, we should be able to make, um, ferro stuff in a device. Let's see. Used. Okay. So dust creates molten boron. And if we do steel, we would get what we need, right? So if I, let's just take a piece here. Make sure that this works in the smelter. I guess it may, it may not. Okay, it works there. And we have our steel. Steel blend. Let's put this in here. Okay, that should work. And then they should mix and make ferroboron, okay? And what we need for ferroboron, we're trying to make the uh, engineering press. Wow, this is going to take us a little bit, but we can do this. Okay, we're trying to make the press here. It takes a full blocks worth of this. So we may not have enough. We're going to try. Hopefully this will give us two. Like this is an ingot and this is an ingot. If it gives us two worth, then that's great. If it's only one, then we're going to be in a little bit more trouble because we have to get more boron. So there's a steel. One ingot worth of steel. This is still working. This is done here. Yes, okay. So we need to get more steel. And steel blend is just a infuser or a crusher taking that. So let's, uh, let's just crush down the steel. Probably don't have to. Or maybe we don't have to. Two, three, four. Okay. Actually, let's do three. And then, oh, we got more dust there. Okay, now do they mix? Okay, it made two ingots. One to one. So there's three there. Put three more. This will be two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need one, one more of each, I think. Okay. And that should give us a block that we can pour out over here. Okay. Let me wait for a moment while we, this is going to take a bit and then uh, we'll pour it out together. All right. We've got one block right here of Bolton Ferroborn. Boom. We're going to do this here. It should pour over this and give us the engineering press, which is what we need to make some other things. We still need to make a calculation press as well. And we'll see if we can do that. We may be able to do that now. I don't know. Um, if you look here, the calculation press just takes tough and tough alloy. Tough alloy is really just ferroborn and lithium. Okay, so we're gonna see, I'm making the rest of the ferro, uh, ferroboron, ferroborn, ferroboron here. And we need to get the lithium and hopefully, hopefully lithium works in the, uh, cause I have some of that. Okay, we got that. Great. Under pressure. See, I hopefully we get enough here. Uh, I'm going to see, does this work? No. So this probably also needs to be crushed. So let's go over here. And, uh... Does that work in a crusher? No. Does it work here? Or is it just probably another separator, probably? Yeah. Same thing as the other piece. It's because it probably came from the same source. They wanted to do that. We got seven ingots worth. All we need to get is basically one block worth of this. So hopefully this cooks up pretty quick. And it doesn't look like it does. Um, but we're working on that. We'll just get some more of this stuff in here. But if we can get enough of this to mix the ingots here and, and the ingots here, I should be able to get the calculation processor. Now that's going to get us to pretty far here for these but it won't get us this stuff today and we're because we're running out of time so let me finish this up and then we'll uh keep on going okay i'm mixing up and i've got toughened alloy here molten tough alloy i've got a block let's pour that out and that should get us the calculation processor and that's all we really need to make the rest of this stuff okay now um i could go longer and, and get through all of this. There's pieces here we have to do to get things. But I'm going to say that for the next episode, okay? So as soon as this gets done, we're probably going to be ending here. And uh, yeah, I think it was a good run. This is a lot of stuff that we need for AE. We got to get this done because we this storage system is just not working for us, okay? And there we are. We have that. We have all four pieces of the 
presses, which is exactly what I want. All right, guys, so that's all I have got time for today. Hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications. Okay, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you.